Good morning, my friends. Today is Monday, February 12th. It's Monday of the sixth week in ordinary time. I'm recording this before the Super Bowl, so hopefully it was a good game. Uh, whoever wins, uh, congratulations. A couple things coming up this week. So Monday night, we have our formation. Episode eight of season two will be formed. We also have a class on the Eucharist being offered at seven o'clock, both at seven. Tuesday night, we have Behold Candlelight Adoration, 8 p.m. in the church, followed by some sweets. Uh, it's Mardi Gras, Fat Tuesday. And then Wednesday, of course, is Ash Wednesday. We have uh, five masses uh, during the day. We also want to challenge you on a 40-day challenge. If you're a parishioner here at St. Isaac's or elsewhere, 40 days of Lent visiting the Adoration Chapel. Now, I know it's not easy to do, and maybe you don't have an Adoration Chapel near you, but maybe stopping and, and praying if you don't have an Adoration Chapel. We believe that getting before Jesus in the Eucharist is transformational and want to encourage people to try to just spend a little bit of time with Jesus in silence. Let's look at the readings today. So the first reading is from the letter of St. James, uh, chapter, <clears throat> chap chapter 1, verses 1 to 11. So have you ever been grateful for a trial or persecution? Listen to what he says. Consider it all joy, my brothers and sisters, when you encounter various trials, for you know that the testing of your faith produces perseverance. So it'd be an interesting way to look at trials is to think, wow, this is going to bring about perseverance. This is going to bring about growth. If I look back in my life, some of the biggest trials, you know, uh, the ending of my baseball career, which now seems very small, um, my mother's death, which was a very big thing, another personal thing I was going through, very difficult challenges. And uh, I remember not being joyful during those times. Um, but what the Lord is saying here, or, or, uh, I guess St. James, the Holy Spirit through St. James is saying that God allows certain things, his permissive will, allows certain things to stretch us and make us grow. Now, I'm not saying that God wants me to, wanted me to lose my mother. Um, but when I look at it from God's point of view, you know, we're all going to die. Sometimes it's five years, 20, 50, 100 years, something in between. But 500 years from now, we're all going to be with God. And we'll look back at this time on earth like a flash. And so to try to see things from God's point of view uh, is a big challenge for all of us. And there's many things that we don't understand in this life. But some of these trials, the Lord's trying to encourage us in perseverance to say, don't lose faith, don't lose hope. You know, I'm walking with you. He says, let perseverance be perfect so that you may be perfect and complete, lacking in nothing. But if, you, if any of you lacks wisdom, he should ask God. So if you're lacking wisdom, ask God and he will give it to you generously. Because when we doubt, he says... It's like a wave of the sea that's driven uh, and tossed about. So when you pray for things, uh, is it with faith or with, with doubt? Again, this doesn't mean God's going to answer our prayers the way we want him to. Um, but trusting that, I always tell people, seek, ask, knock, be specific with what you desire in prayer. But ultimately, the the most powerful prayer is, but thy will be done. Lord, I, I may not understand what, what you allow to do, but help me to trust you. Help me to persevere with you. We go on to see in the gospel, the Pharisees came uh, and they are seeking a sign from heaven. And Jesus says, what does this generation, why does this generation seek a sign? No sign will be given to this generation. Basically, Jesus is saying, this is your sign. You know, my dying on the cross, my paying the price for your sins and opening the gates of heaven, you need no other sign. Just as he said, you know, there was a sign of Jonah, Jonah being swallowed up in the whale for three days. It's like Jesus was swallowed up in the grave for three days, but he rose to new life. That is our hope. Jesus Christ is our hope yesterday, today, and always because death is not the end. This life 
on earth is not the end. Our home is with Jesus in heaven, and that's what gives us hope amidst any trial. Keep that in mind when you're going through difficult times. So Heavenly Father, we thank you and praise you for your son, Jesus. We lift up to you all of us who are experiencing trials and tribulations. Give us the grace of wisdom and perseverance to see you as our greatest gift and to hold on to you during these most difficult times. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please continue to like, subscribe, and share these videos with at least one person today. To you and to your family, Buen Camino, and God bless you.